definitely a fan of that style of Neil Simon comedies that we saw in the 70s and 80s. I'm not real big on slapstick, not big on French farce. Uh, I enjoy the topical humor of a Seinfeld, but to pull together a play that has a beginning and a middle and an end, I like to start with an interesting premise. In living arrangements, it's, it's sort of a New York City story because we have rent control and most other cities uh, don't have that, at least not anymore. So the two people who are looking to separate go and look at the real estate market and they realize they absolutely cannot afford to split up. So they decide they're going to get divorced but remain in the same apartment. So I thought that was a really fun premise to work off of because now they have to explain all this to their children. There's another couple with whom they've been playing cards and vacationing for many years. So they have to tell them what they plan on doing and uh, we take it through to the logical conclusion. I try to use premises that might easily work in a stand-up comedy routine, sometimes about relationships. In this one, the father, Harry, has one of those uh, breathing apparatuses and the wife complains about that and says it's like, um, you know, being with a monster who's hooked up to a machine. I think comedy is the most interesting genre to watch come to life whether another comedian is speaking your lines on stage or the characters are speaking them for the first time because you write it alone in a room and you hope something's going to be funny. You think it's funny, but until it's out there, you just don't know how it's going to land, if it's going to flop. Uh, what always seems to happen, I, I work jokes at all the, in the play, so in the other ones, the joke that I think is the best never gets the biggest laugh, never. It's always some more obscure, in, in one instance it was just something I kind of threw in there thinking, well, it's, and it got this enormous laugh. So I, I know what's supposed to be funny, but obviously I don't have a perfect barometer for what's the funniest and the least funniest thing. I'm always surprised by that. The comedy living arrangements has its world premiere at the Midwinter Madness Festival. We open on Tuesday, February 12th at 6 p.m. And we also have shows Saturday at 6 p.m. and Sunday at 4.15 p.m. So you can go to church or synagogue first and get to the show in the afternoon. And there are lots of terrific restaurants nearby.